This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the concept of curse of dimensionality in the context of machine learning. Okay. The curse of dimensionality actually refers to various phenomena that arise when analyzing and organizing data in high dimensional spaces and these phenomena do not occur in low dimensional settings such as three dimensional physical space of everyday experience. So what is, uh, you know, this curse of dimensionality as per these statements. Okay. And when you relate it to machine learning, how does it look like? Okay. Suppose you have a fixed data set. Okay. Where the number of samples are fixed. For example, you have 10,000 data points over here or say 1000 data points. You want to do some classification or regression depending upon the type of the data. Okay. So you start with some number of features initially. For example, you started with say five features. Okay. You have trained one classifier or a regression and you get some kind of an accuracy. Now, as you increase the features, okay, say you go to 10 features, you go to 100 features, you go to 1000 features. Okay. The sample size is fixed. For example, 1000 data points or 10,000 data points. Okay. So as you you know, increase the number of dimensions, the accuracy will increase up to a certain point. Okay. And then when the number of dimensions increase, the accuracy actually comes down or deteriorates drastically. Okay. May not be exactly the way I've shown over here. It depends on your data. Okay. So what happens over here is that this is also known as the peaking phenomenon. Okay. So the accuracy peaks at a certain number of features when you consider a certain number of features and then it goes down. Okay. So here you have a fixed data set. So this is the curse of dimensionality with respect to machine learning. Okay. So as the features in your uh, data set increase, basically the accuracy goes down. Okay. Uh, you also require more data. I'll come to that. Okay. So why does this happen? Okay. So as the features dimensions increase in your data, what happens is that, you know, the volume of space increases. So when you have one dimension, it is a line in two dimensions. It is a plane or a square and in three dimensions, it becomes a cube, right? So when this volume of space increases as shown in this figure, right? What happens is that the data becomes sparse. Okay. The data spread is sparse. So for example, this is your say 1D, uh, you can split it into four regions over here, right? If you go to 2D, it becomes 16 regions. And if you go to 3D, it becomes 64 regions. And if you see this data itself, it can actually spread in a very sparse manner. Okay. Now what happens of the, because of this, what happens when the data becomes spread in a sparse manner, right? So what happens is that when the data is spread in a sparse manner. Okay. When we are trying to do any machine learning algorithm, we look for similarity in data, right? So what happens is that, uh, you know, organizing and searching data often relies on detecting areas where objects form groups within similar properties. Okay. With similar properties in high dimension. Okay. All these objects will appear to be sparse. Okay. And hence dissimilar in many ways. Okay, because of this sparse spread, it will be dissimilar once. And because it is sparsely spread, okay, you need more data samples if you want your algorithm to actually find similarity. Okay, suppose you have 1000 samples and your data is say somewhere spread like this. Okay, it will be sparsely spread, right? Now, what if you increase the number of samples to 10,000? Then the expectation is that in the higher dimension, maybe you will have more samples over here. You will have some more samples over here. You will have some more samples over here. All right. In the higher dimension, not in this 3D. Okay. So that is the uh, need over here. But what happens is that in order to obtain a reliable result, the amount of data needed often grows exponentially with the dimensionality. Okay. So as the dimension increases, right, you also need an exponential increase in your data. Okay. So this is actually the curse of dimensionality with respect to machine learning. I hope you find this video useful. 
If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.